our dear viewers and welcome to our show Diet Myths. Now I'm sure we're all coming back from the holidays where we took our, you know, liberal uh, time in indulging in so many foods and having whatever we want. Some of us actually might have had a binge on junk food and foods that we're not used to having. So today we're going to be talking about ways that you can not detox but break that habit of the junk food you have to get back on track for the new year and make sure you don't keep the weight that you probably gained in your break. Now I know many times when we go on holidays we take that freedom to eat whatever we want but it's really important to, when you come back to be on track and to use certain techniques to make sure you lose that weight because if you do keep it on and then go on another vacation before you know it you're just adding on extra weight that you really shouldn't be doing or wouldn't want to do. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is breaking the habit. Now a lot of us, you know, we indulge in sweets and these desserts. And I know that science or research has proven that sugar is as addictive as drugs. So it does take some time to clear the sugar out of our system. So if you have been binging on many desserts or sugary foods, then the best thing you can do is try to clear the sugary foods out of your system for a good three to seven days. So avoid any desserts, avoid any foods with added sugars, so your taste buds can get back to getting used to the natural sugars found in food and satisfying itself with that. What you can do is add some fruits, add some berries, these foods with natural sugars to your diet if you feel like you're having a sugar withdrawal. So a lot of people that have been indulging in large amounts of sugars and sweets will probably feel a withdrawal and the only thing that can kick that habit is perhaps having some natural fruits and fruits are excellent because they have a lot of fiber in them. are excellent because they have a lot of fiber in them so they'll also keep you full and what I would do is add maybe some berries to some um, low-fat yogurt and this way I have a great snack it could be satisfying and it will help postpone that craving that you have please stay tuned we have more tips on how to get over the holiday binges see you soon Welcome back our dear viewers. 
Now, if you've been having a lot of junk in the holidays, the best thing you can do is focus on foods that are high in potassium. So things like dates and bananas. And the great thing with these foods that are high in potassium is that they can counter the effect of the excess salt. So whenever we're having junk food, I want you to think that you're probably taking in a lot of excess sodium. And the only thing that can counter that is the potassium. And the issue with taking in like a lot of excess sodium is that we get bloated and we just feel unhappy and fat. And we really don't want that. So definitely think of bananas and dates and other high potassium foods like greens to add to your diet after a junk food binge and hopefully that will get rid of the bloating and the yucky feeling you get from taking in junk food. Another very important thing to do once you come back from the holidays is to try to resize your stomach. Now the stomach is a muscle so it will expand and it will shrink depending on how much food you give it. Of course during the holidays if we're not limiting the amount of food we're having and we're eating as we go, we're probably enlarging the stomach muscle. And by the time that you come back here, you're probably not satisfied with the usual portions you have. So it's very important to reduce your portion size when you come and to avoid that hunger feeling because the portion has reduced. Choose foods that are very high in fiber. So things like chia seeds that you can add to your food or your beverages, um, greens in the salads, fruit, all these foods that are really high in fiber, nuts are other excellent sources, they will stay in your stomach or expand in your stomach. So they'll give you that feeling of fullness without really enlarging the stomach muscle. So by a good 10 to 20 days time, we've helped re-shrink the stomach muscle and we can go back to eating the smaller portions that we're used to eating. A great way to reduce your portion size is probably to use a smaller plate, so something like an appetizer plate at meal times and then definitely shrink your silverware as well. Use um, a smaller teaspoon or a smaller fork like a dessert fork when you're having your main meals. Please stay tuned, we have a couple more tips to go. Welcome back, our dear viewers. So now I'm sure many of you coming back from the vacations are probably thinking, let me detox, let me go on a detox diet. Now, as we've discussed before, detox diets don't really work. But what I do suggest you do is consume a lot of water. One of the main things that happens when we indulge in junk food or when we have a lot of these uh, free foods that we can have all the time is that we tend to feel bloated, we tend to have cramps, and we just tend to feel unwell. Our, our gastrointestinal health is just not very um, flourishing. So what you can do is avoid sweetened beverages. Now, never drink your calories calories, have lots of water. If water isn't satisfying for you, you can add things like lemon, lime, mint leaves to your water to enhance the flavor. Ginger tea and peppermint tea are excellent um, hot drinks to have, especially if you don't add sugar to them. And they basically ease the muscles in your gastrointestinal um, tract. So if you have any trapped gases or you're feeling bloated, they will all come out because the muscles are eased. Peppermint is especially excellent after meals. Now green tea is another great beverage, but keep in mind that green tea is a caffeinated beverage. So for every cup of a caffeinated beverage, try to outdo it with a cup of water or non-caffeinated beverage. So for example, the ginger and the peppermint tea can count towards your water um, intake because they don't have much caffeine in them. If you're thinking of detoxing, like we said, it doesn't really work. We want a healthy lifestyle and not a temporary change. So think of applying these changes for a good seven to 10 days to break the habits that you were in. Focus on a lot of lean protein, so a lot of chicken and fish that will keep you full throughout the day. Start your day with a healthy breakfast that's rich in fiber. There are many ways that you can have oatmeal and actually enhance the flavor so you can feel better. 
I hope these tips will help and we'll see you all next time.